So we are on the beautiful island of St. Martin in the Caribbean. This is the Caribbean Sea. And I wanted to show you how limestone and other kinds of sedimentary rocks are formed. So I'm standing in the Caribbean right now and I'm going to scoop down and I'm going to pull up what we normally would think of as sand. And what it actually is, and hopefully you can see it, it's actually broken up bits of shells uh, from different marine creatures. And there are some pieces of coral as well. So as you're standing in the water, this is what you're actually feeling under your feet. So you can see the particles are still on the larger side. They're definitely coarse uh, in terms of their texture. As we go out of the water and we get onto the shore, what we find is we find that the sand is finer at this point. So the, the fragments, the pieces have broken down, they've weathered even further, and the smaller fragments have eroded up onto this beach. As we make our way up the beach, what we see is we see this, this area. You can actually see people riding segways. Okay? And what they're actually riding on, you can see over here, is this ridge. And what's interesting about the ridge is that if we look closer, it's completely made up of shells and fragments of living things. My daughter and I were trying to look at some shells earlier, and what we discovered is we discovered that this is pretty hard. I mean, this is, this is on its way to becoming compacted and cemented. It's still loose enough that we can break it apart, but there are chunks of shells sticking out of it, such as this one, bigger than my finger, and I actually was able to pry it loose. And all along the ground here are shells that have come out of this ridge over here. This is how these islands form. These islands are all made out of limestone. They were all shells that got cemented, compacted and cemented together to make this limestone that the island is built on. It's beautiful.